Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all well and I'm happy to see you back in another video. So guys, today we do the full unboxing and review of the Rolex Air King reference 116900. The price for this watch is around $7500 including taxes. A quick wristwatch check of my Zeppelin. And let's start the unboxing. So the Rolex Air King reference 116900 was introduced in 2016 and could be put into the category of entry-level Rolex watches. Together with the Explorer, the Air King is usually not too difficult to get from the authorized dealers and comes at a more affordable price point than all other sports models. Inside the Rolex paper card box, we find the usual green Rolex watch box. Also for this model, we have a medium size box. Let's have a look at everything that comes with the watch. The user manual, as usually. If you want to read something, just pause the video. Next, we have the warranty manual. And the warranty card. Everything packed in the usual green Rolex leather pocket. I borrowed this watch from a friend who bought it second hand. The watch was immediately flipped by the guy who purchased it at the Rolex store here in Dubai and actually not for a profit. I think just to boost his profile. Sadly, this is the phase and situation in which we are right now. Three links have been removed from the bracelet. the hang tag and the Geneva seal. And here we go with the watch guys. First time I have seen a watch of this category with the bezel protector. Usually the stores don't give it with the watch. First of all let's check the weight. So the watch with all links comes at 155 grams and only the watch itself is 145 grams. The case diameter is 40 millimeters. The lug to lug distance is 48.5 millimeter. The thickness is 13.7 millimeter. The bracelet starts at 18.8 mm and tapers down to 15 mm. The clasp is a rather small one for a sports watch. It is the same clasp you get with your Oyster Perpetual and it also has the stamped Rolex logo unfortunately. So the watch is made out of the usual 904L steel or also called oyster steel which has a better corrosion resistance than other kinds of steel that you will find in the watch world. I usually also like the color a lot of it and it feels sturdy. The scratch resistance is in my experience exactly the same like with any other watch. The watch comes with the classic oyster bracelet which is the best bracelet for a sports watch. It again offers a nice sturdy feeling and sits very comfortable on your wrist. The complete bracelet is brushed and each row consists out of three links. Inside the clasp we can find the Rolex Easy extension which lets you increase the bracelet length by 5mm.
The clasp also has three micro adjustment positions. The case of the watch is the famous Oyster case, but I would maybe call it the Maxi Oyster case, as it is a lot bigger than the usual Oyster Perpetuals or Explorers. It features the same magnetic resistance that the Milgauss gives you. Even though I think in today's standards this is not as special anymore as it was maybe 10 years ago. The case is a monoblock middle case with a screw down case back and screw down winding crown. It has a smooth bezel also made out of stainless steel. Unfortunately it is very sensitive for scratches but can be replaced for a small bug compared to a gold or ceramic bezel. The water resistance of the watch is 100 meter or 330 feet. The dial of the watch is the key feature. The Air King features a distinctive black dial with the 3, 6 and 9 numerals made out of white gold and has in between a prominent minute scale. I think the whole theme fits very well for a sporty watch and looks great and unique. The name Air King is done in the same lettering that was designed in 1950 for the first version. The dial is protected by a sapphire crystal. Inside the watch we find the 3131 movement, which is a self-winding mechanical movement produced in-house by Rolex. It comes as a certified Swiss chronometer and features a hacking function. It only shows you the time via hour, minute and second hand. The precision is minus 2 to plus 2 seconds a day after casing. It has a power reserve of 48 hours and winds via a rotor in both directions. The watch is very easy to set and has only two positions of the crown. In the first position you can wind the watch and if you pull it out you can set the time. A non-date watch is usually very convenient if you don't use your watch daily due to the short time it takes to set the watch. And let's put the watch on my wrist. And now time for a loom shot. And finally it is time for the watch score. The dimensions of the watch are overall okay, but for a simple freehands watch without date and small power reserve, it is a little bit on the chunky side. A thinner case would definitely fit the watch a lot better. The case has a nice 100 meter of water resistance and a good magnetic resistance, but no features like a rotatable bezel or magnifying lens. The movement is a little bit outdated nowadays with only two days power reserve, but it is still a robust high quality movement. The bracelet is of course superb and one of the best that you can get on the market. The easy extension is perfect and free micro adjustment positions are also good to have. The daily usage of the watch is average as it can feel a bit chunky and is heavy for its features. Also the power reserve is low and there is no date function which would certainly be great for a daily wearer. It shines more at the weekend as it is still a Rolex and gives you a nice flair of racing and aviation with an interesting dial. For the sportive usage, unfortunately again, it feels for me too heavy, offers little to no beneficial sportive features and has nearly no loom at all. The 100 meter water resistance and sturdy build quality position it right in the middle with 5 points. Image and history are not on the level of other Rolex watches like Submariner, Daytona or GMT Master, 
but this watch has a long history and was worn by many famous people. In addition, the great brand, which can't be beaten. The watch trades slightly above retail if you could buy it from a store, but of course if you will wear it, it will fall below retail price. Still, for an entry level Rolex, it gives you a lot for your money. You have the brand, you have the prestige and you of course get also the Rolex quality. All of this together gives the watch a 36 out of 100 in my watch score and positions it on my list, but not as an immediate buy. So Rolex, please make it more refined with a slimmer case, 70 hours of power reserve, more loom and keep the nice dial. And a safety folding clasp would be of course nice as well. With all those features, this watch would become a banger and would quickly jump to an immediate buy on my list. And with that, we are at the end of the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a like and a comment if you agree with the watch score or if you would rate it differently. Stay healthy, thank you for watching and bye bye.